Vitrium offers an immersive, animated and well-balanced pack of spells, tools and consumables. Complements Skyrim's gameplay loop and adds preparation gameplay. Animations work only in third person and are player exclusive. Vitrium has seven levels of sharpness, each one of them have a given damage multiplier. After sharpening your weapon, you weapon specific sharpness level and after 10 hits towards enemy blade degrades to lower level. The list of default sharpness levels for each weapon material type goes up in the following order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, white, purple. In red state, damage is increased by 1.05%. However, when in purple state, damage is increased by 1.3%. Every weapon sharpness level can be changed by altering the form list within the ESP. Toughness mechanic is similar to sharpness mechanic and has different levels of toughness. After 10 block with shield, it degrades to lower level. The toughness levels, like the sharpness levels, increase from red to purple and can be changed by changing the list of forms within especially. While you have crafter's backpack equipped a lesser power comes available in the magic menu which allows you to craft on the go. You can craft all of the consumables plus a few extra items like lockpicks, roll of paper and arrows. A perk is required to craft arrows. After requiring and learning the soul gem transfusion spell, you get a lesser power similar to crafting available in your magic menu. With it you can craft soul gems to one tier higher at the price of two. This also makes use of soul gem fragments that are otherwise unused by the game. You can split soul gems to fragments or combine them to make a petty soul gem. After acquiring the scroll crafting book player can use the lesser power to create various scrolls. Every scroll requires one, five soul gem fragments and a roll of paper. The of fragment cost is based on the value of the scroll. Fragments can be acquired by splitting soul gems up with soul gem transfusion spell. Roll of paper can be made with crate or backpack crafting, requires one tundra cotton. Smoke pellets allow smoke to appear around your character, knocking back nearby enemies. At this time, your character will become invisible and will not be temporarily damaged by enemy attacks. Use smoke pellets to escape in case of emergency. This is a very useful skill that reduces your risk of dying. Hunter's instinct is gain enhanced vision to seek out preys. This technique will make it easier for you to spot your prey and help you pinpoint the location of your enemies. Hunter's instinct spell tome buyable from mage vendors. Crystal Ward is cast a 80 damage withstanding ward that stays in front of player. Casting a ward spell is convenient and effective because it continuously creates wards when you cast it. It's a good skill that can block enemies' magic and arrows almost perfectly. Crystal Ward Spell Tome viable from Mage Vendors. After acquiring the Spectral Pack Horn, player can use the horn to summon the Spectral Pack at pointed location for one hour. About three ghost wolves are summoned, and they will be your guardian wolves for a certain period of time. This concludes the Vitrium mod introduction video. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. 
Subscriptions, likes, and notification settings are very helpful for the Arjaram channel. Have fun Skyrim!